Liam, um, I suppose in December with Waterford, looking forward to an All Ireland final. Um, how have you enjoyed your, your first season down here? Obviously, reaching a final is a, is a big achievement. It is, yeah, great so far. Delighted to be in a final. Really looking forward now to Sunday, um, or Sunday week. So, uh, you know, big job of work ahead now to make sure that we're fully prepared and ready to go and that we get through with injury free as well over the next couple of sessions. So, um, you know, it's great. This is this is what it's about. Like, you know, it's it's when you're when you're here standing in front of you, you guys, it means that you know you're you're preparing for a big day, and that's that's what it's all about. Mm, yeah, and since you came in here, Liam, did you always envis- envisage that this bunch were, were capable of reaching an All Ireland final? Absolutely. I, you know, it was one of our, our, our goals from the start that we would take it, obviously match by match. But our, our goal was ultimately, like every inter county hurler. You know, is to reach the All Ireland final and, and hopefully win it. So um, I didn't feel that was was a, an extravagant goal to, to be achieving uh, to, to be aiming for. So uh, we felt it was realistic. So we're thrilled now that we're in, in a position now to try and go on and win, and win, win the All Ireland. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, been a busy couple of weeks then with the games coming thick and fast. But do you think that's that suited this bunch of, of players? Yeah, and it's always good, Gavin, to have momentum. You know, that's that's, and it's always good to have matches coming quick. Cause players, they like, you know, they like to train for a certain length of time, but they like they like matches after week after week. And uh, and I think um, I think we've steadily started to get that little bit better week week by week. So uh, really, really, you know, really happy that we're we're gathering a little bit of momentum and that we've come through. You know, three or three really hard games now, and looking forward to another one now in in in, in a week's time. Yeah, the, the win against Kilkenny, Liam, psychologically, how big was that to get over a team like Kilkenny and, you know, to win a big game in Pro Park as well, and all albeit with no crowd there? Yeah, t- look, it's always great to to, um, t- to get over the line again, real quality opposition, you know, that's that's what confidence is mm-hmm. is made off of, and that's, that's how you achieve, you know, uh, uh, how would you say, momentum, so... For us to get over the line against Kilkenny last weekend was was big. Um, there's no point in saying different. It was big, and it's 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 a big part of of having these players of mine in a good place for for uh, for next Sunday. Yeah, definitely. And that, that second half performance team, um, two sixteen, I think from play out of the two seventeen, it must have been really pleasing the way you know you, you brought everyone into the table and the impact of the bench again very strong. Yeah, look, we have a really nice panel. Uh, 45, six players there working really hard behind the scenes all the time and you know not just our team now but our 26 is, is rotating quite regularly because that's that's what we're seeing in the training field fellas are putting their hands up and you know any one of the, the 26 or sorry any one of the, the, the 15 to, to 26 that are named or 16 upwards will will have an opportunity or not an opportunity but will have a real chance of playing any day that we take the field because they wouldn't be on our panel if we didn't believe that they were capable of offering something all depending on how the game is unfolding and, and what way and what positions and what the way the opposition set up so look really happy with the, with, with the way the the bench and, and uh, the players that are not on the starting 15 are, are working behind the scenes as well, Gavin. Yeah, and how important, Liam, is it to have that unity, I suppose, amongst the squad and, you know, competition for places, I suppose, that makes your job, I suppose, tougher, but in, in, in a way, a good, a good way as well, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it, it, you know, it's great to be challenged like that. That's what a manager wants, is to be challenged to make them calls and and um, it's up to the manager then to be able to challenge these players to put them in that position as well so you know we challenge one another well and we have a good healthy respect for one another and you know the team and panel will always be picked on merit and that's the way it, that's the way it will be yeah and uh, your thoughts now on Limerick uh, Liam does be the first time Waterford and Limerick to meet in, all, in an All-Ireland finally played them a couple of weeks ago but what was your thoughts on, on their game with Galway there the weekend yeah they, they, look Limerick are the benchmark really they're you know people will say that they you know, they should be, they should be really, I suppose, in, in a position of of, uh, of contesting their their third All Ireland in a row, like Bar, Bar, uh, um, you know, a little little bit of lady look maybe wasn't on their side. They would say, it, and and rightly so, and it's hard to argue against that. So, you know, uh, Limerick are going to take a, a fair bit of stopping now. You know, they have it every way: strength, power, pace, and. Um, you know, the, an experience. So this is a massive task for this group of players. But like, you know, we're just going to have to approach it uh, with absolutely everything we got and, and see what will happen. Yeah, you showed the last night, I suppose, being that you know your your second half performance. That is it about maybe concentrating more. You're good at it as well, rather than worrying too much. I suppose about the about the opposition. Sure. Yeah, we're going to concentrate on ourselves, and that's the way it has to be. So, um, you know, we really have to. 
have to make sure that we're right, um, you know, and just see what will happen, see where it will take us. Yeah, Toby massively in 1959 is a long time here in Waterford to wait for an All-Ireland to be massive if Conor Brumty could go up the steps on, on Sunday, Sunday week. Yeah, it, look, it is, and, you know, that we're, we're not, to be honest, looking ahead like that, Gavin. We were looking at it as, as a match. It's We're going to Dublin to, 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 to play a match now. It's a match with a little bit more importance than usual, obviously, but it's a match for us it's a match that where we have to turn up and make sure we perform and, and if we perform to the best of our ability absolutely we give ourselves a chance and even if we do perform outside ourselves and we don't we don't have Lee McCarthy coming home look we, we, we can stand up and say we gave it everything we had and, and uh, you know fair play to the opposition if they, if, if they beat us yeah. James two quick questions um, you say looking for a power you want James to go and play the match not the occasion and then, you know, comments about when you're one and a half time or probably lucky to have crowds around you. Do you still feel that way? Are you happy to have no crowd involved? Or would you I know, no, no, you'd love to have the crowd involved. I suppose that is just a kind of a tongue-in-cheek in statement to, yeah, because of the way maybe the first half had, had went um, from, from that perspective, my own perspective as, as, as not having crowds there. But look, it's, it's an awful pity. But again, what can we do? It's, it's, it's great that we're... we're um, that we're back on the on the playing fields, obviously. So, what can we do? Um, it won't take from the occasion for the players. I can guarantee you that the intensity will be every bit as ferocious on the field as it as it would be if if there was pe- people there or crowds there. So, um, look, um, what can we say? Only that we just used to it now. We, we've we've come familiarised with it, and we just have to go out now and, and perform. As well, just you know, obviously the second half performance and for as good as it was, you know, only. A point better than what McKinney did back in 2008 in their first half performance, so that speaks for itself. But I suppose the first half, not that you were playing bad, because you weren't by any means, but it definitely wasn't up to the standard you'd like. Do you think without that kind of a result again, like, will, you, will you see past Limerick with that kind of a level of intensity in the first half, or need to up it again for that first 45 minutes? No, like all our finals, you have to be you have to be right, Like you have to be able to start the match and see it right through. And We're going to have to bring a, an unbelievable level of consistency to our play right from the throw-in. And if we don't, if we don't, we pay the price. It's simple as that. So, you know, there's no, um, how would you say, there's no secret to this. Like, Waterford are up again, are up again at here uh, next Sunday week. That's 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 reality. We'll have to hurl out of our skins. Well, Limerick are, are raging hot favourites in the bookies. They're, they've, they've dominated Munster and national competitions almost for the last three years. Um, you know, so, like, they re- really are... Um, hot favourites for this All Ireland, but look, we're in a final and we have a chance, and we're going to we're going to give it the best shot we can. Uh, when they came last year, they obviously did more than had won against the All Ireland semi-final in seventeen. What was the confidence like in the players when they came in? Yeah, I'd, I'd tell a lie if I say confidence was high. It wasn't. I suppose there was a little bit of. Um, I, I would say that maybe their energy levels were, were low. Um, enthusiasm more so than confidence was was a little bit on the on the low side. So it was a case of of really just putting structures in place to get back out onto the hurling field to create a few things, give fellas a little bit more of a of a feel good factor about themselves and take it match by match to try and improve. So that's where we started out from day one. Um, but confidence. I wouldn't say the confidence was fully gone, but I definitely say that their their enthusiasm to to believe in themselves a little bit a little bit was was um, was suspect, you know. But but having said that, they've applied themselves really well now since I've been there and, and gone really well about their business training and doing their utmost to, 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 to improve each each day they come to the field. So really positive for me from that side of things. Yeah, and uh, obviously Mikey Beaver's actually yeah, well, Mikey Evans is, is an integral part to this setup. up um, You know, the relationship he has with his players on the field and on the coaching field is, is just, you know, extraordinary, really. He's, he's, a, he's a serious man, a serious, uh, seriously good coach and, um, you know, oozes energy and enthusiasm. Everything you'd need your players to be, he's that in the middle of them every night training and... You know that's a big part. You know, obviously you have to have the players, but a big part of us being here in yeah. the position we're in, contesting our final next Sunday, is you know is, is is down to that man as much as the players and and, and the rest of the management team. They've put in a marvelous effort, and um, um, you know we just hope now that we have enough done and, and make sure that we're um, ready to go.
Yeah, I'm not singing a note on the players, but Stephen Bennett is probably one of the best players ever. Yeah, yeah, I know Stephen Bennett is a great player. He, he's always. He always was, even in, in uh, you know, Stephen Bennett, he's a really good player. I've seen him perform consistently with his club there as well through the years. And, uh, you know, a good underage, came up through the underage system here in Waterford. And, you know, and these fellas, you know, it, players come at different stages in their careers. Like, you know, and this is Stephen Bennett's time now. He's 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 standing up and he's getting consistent. And he's, he's I suppose, enjoying his hurling too, which is a big factor to any player. Um, uh, playing well is that you have to start enjoying your hurling and, and making sure that you're uh, expressing yourself every day you go out so I'm really happy that Stephen is in the place he's in and, and please God he'll bring it all again in, in, in two weeks time yeah. Thanks. no problem yeah thanks me right thanks lads me. thanks for having me thanks WLO Imro Local Station of the Year WLO